Good day, everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play More Dragon Quest IX. Today, we are going to be doing the Alchemical Stuffs. And this episode is probably going to have several cuts in it because there is actually a save edit I need to make in the middle of the episode. That's going to be fabulous. Now, to start off, I'm going to sit here and explain something for a moment before I actually talk to Mr. Crackpot here. There are 22 items for the Alchemical Recipes. 11 of them are each of the 11 weapons, obviously the 12th being, weapon being your bare fist, so that doesn't count. And you can find those in uh, the highest ranked chests in Grottoes. Two of them I've already I collected normally, that being the Starter Store and the Gingram Whip. I just got that from just normal farming. The other nine I have uh, save edited into the game. Just for an example purposes here. The other 11 are actually, um, if you guys remember back, when I took care of the grotto bosses, I'm gonna go back to the beginning. There are rare drops right here, the the two percent and five percent drops. Um, actually, I'll open two percent. I thought one of them was like five percent, or maybe that was some of their their uh, common drops for five percent. But anyway. Uh, yeah, but the first 11 grotto bosses each drop one of those, which I did get legitly for that. Um, obviously the 12th boss, Grain Arl, drops the Dragon Lord's map, which obviously we took care of that with the legacy bosses. So that makes 22 in total that we have here. Um, the recipes for these are actually, there is one quest we, I did recently, I think it might have been the one for Adric's equipment. Once you complete that one, I think you get it, but it might have been a quest just before that I did, but it's a quest, it's like 178 or like 183 or something. I don't remember the exact number, but one of the quests actually gives you the, the uh, recipes for it. Now, for the Alchemical stuff, obviously, uh, like I said, the equipment I just described is Tier 1. The recipes you get are for uh, the Tier 2 equipment. No, I don't want to do all recipes, which come from that quest. Now, every single one of these obviously requires the weapon in question, the weapon or armor in question, because all the all the the, the girl bosses want are actually uh, armor. Uh, they're all going to require an adjective evolution. You need a ton of these, and since that is a mouthful to say, I'm just going to call them from now on. I am just going to nickname them E rocks for Rock of Evolution, just because that's basically what they are, and that's just a hell of a lot easier to say. You are going to need a lot of these in order to do these. And I mean a lot. They're also a big pain in the butt to make. And if you make them from the complete raw materials, as in just materials you can get off of the ground and buy in at shops, it is no less than 18 different items, plus the Chrono Crystal, which obviously costs you 50k a whack. Now, through Grotto Chest, you can get some of these treasures, uh, some of the, 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 the higher level ingredients you need for this, like the, the St. Dixomas and the, the uh, Ethereal Stones, you can get from like uh, high rank Grotto Chests, and a couple lower ones have things like Astral Plumes and Lucida Shards, and things like that, that um, can obviously get the list of things you need to get down. But I mean, these things are a pain in the butt to make. If you want the bare list of bare minimum basic ingredients you need to make for these, I'm not going to say it out loud. It's in the description if you really want to know. But anyway, um, these E-Rocks, uh, they mostly use just for use of the Alka Miracles, but they're also used for a couple other things too. If you are looking to complete your Alkanomicon uh, and your wardrobe, you will need 188 of these things to 100% this. 188. 176 of those are for the Alchemicals. The other 12 are for other random equipment. And yes, I actually looked through the alchemy ingredient list and, well, the recipe list twice, and I both got the same number, so, for this. And the reason for this is, uh, and I'm going to start to do this, Yes. Now pay attention to the ingredients here. I need to start a sword, which I already have. I already have all the ingredients. As you can see, I hacked uh, 99 E-Rocks into the game because that's the maximum amount you can have of any item at any given time, and 99 of each of the colored orbs. Um, if you remember, colored orbs are actually dropped from the grotto boss, uh, not the, uh, the legacy bosses, I'm sorry. I have to go through a lot of information in this episode, so I apologize if I'm stuttering or stammering or anything like that. But anyway, uh, this ingredient gives us the tier 2 weapon. 
Now, what I'm going to do, uh, now to create the tier 3 and 4 weapons, you are not given the recipe for this. You actually need to try your luck. I don't know if there's a book anywhere that kind of, you know, is one of the things that gives you a hint on how to do this or not. I don't remember. So basically what you want to do is you want to take your tier 2 item. You want to throw in three rocks. Three. And then you have to throw in three of the colored orb that you initially made with the tier 2. And in this case, it is the silver. Yes. So, so Krakowat's going to tell you something here. He's like, hey, this is an alchemical out of this. And this text takes forever to go through. Get me used to it. Now, what's going to happen? Um, you only have a somewhat small chance of actually succeeding. If you succeed, you get the tier 4 weapon. If you fail, you get the tier 3, which is still awesome, but just not as good. So you're still going to get something better, but just not the best item. And if you do end up getting the tier 3, um, you actually can alchemize the, the tier 3 weapon with the reset zone to actually get the original back. So, uh, I, just as a minor spoiler here, I know I'm going to fail this. I have set this up particularly to fail. And there is obviously actually a recipe in your Alchemicon for turning the tier 3 weapon back into the tier 1. If you create the tier 4, the actual recipe doesn't get listed in, in here. But obviously it counts as wardrobe completion. But this is why you need so many rocks, because you literally have to fail and get back the original item to complete your Alchemicon. Which is a pain in the butt, which is why you need so many. Because it takes four just to either make a tier three or four. And if you are going to get both, that's eight. And there's 22 of these things. Now, the number he gives you is sort of bullcrap and sort of not. Basically, every single alchemical recipe, once you try to create the tier three or tier four, has a certain stat associated with it. And it compares that stat to that of your hero. You know, your main hero, your main character, you know, the one that's important, you know, i.e. me. And depending on where your hero stat and the weapon, what uh, stat is associated with that weapon, it plugs into a formula and it spits out a number basically anywhere between 10 and 40 percent. But it rounds it down to the nearest 10 percent. So um, if there's, if it pulls out that number and gets either 10 percent all the way up to 19.9, it's going to tell you it is 10 percent, even though it's much higher. Now, here's where that thing is absolute was is partly bullcrap. Well, it is obviously that number is important. It is not your true chance of success. Um, I may do a video on this in the future, uh, but I'm sure this video is on YouTube. Uh, you know, remember the little hoimi table, you know, what I was using to manipulate the drops of the grotto bosses and such? You, uh, basically what you want to do is you use that same thing, you know, do your heals and whatever, basically to manipulate the random number generator to get it exactly where you want. But you need to know the percentage of the drop, of the drop rate in order for, um, you to manipulate the random number generator in, in the way you need it to to get the results you want. That percentage number he just gave you, that's the number you want to plug in. And I actually have it written down. I've already checked these in advance. I know the exact percentage chance I have for everything. Now, the pain in the butt part about this is you cannot save scum this stuff. Before he even throws it into the pot, you have to save the game. So... Unless you really want to chance it, you ha make sure you manipulate this so you either know you're going to fail if you want to fail, or know you are going to pass. I would seriously, if you really want to do that, I would seriously recommend looking up, there's guides online that explain this all in detail of exac exactly what you need to do to do this, to set this up properly. I can't do it in words so much, I have a lot to do for this episode, and for that I apologize. Now, I have save states, so obviously I have a save state that I made just before I started this episode. So if I screw something up, I can go back. But if you're on a cartridge, you do not have that advantage. So my game, my file is now saved, and then he's going to throw it into the pot. Now, I know I'm going to fail, because I've set this up to fail, because I need to use the reset stone, because that's what I want. So we get the supernova sword, which is a tier 3. The hypernova sword is actually the tier 4. And he'll be like, oh yeah, sorry. Now, nope. I hit the wrong button there. I apologize. Now, do I actually have the recipe for 
the Stardust Sword in here. Do I have that? No, I don't. I don't know if I don't know if, uh, if the book actually gets it. I don't think so. But basically, what we want to do is, and I actually only hacked one of these into. Well, I didn't hack it into the game actually because you can buy reset stones. Uh, they're, I believe, available in DQVC, but you can buy them from uh, uh, Max the Pirate Dude. Uh, the mini medals, once you turn in the initial 80 he needs and opens up the shop, you can buy him for 10 mini medals apiece. But I need to throw in, so I only have one, but I will hack more into the game later. Some of them I can legitly buy, but um, since I'm going to need, if I want to complete this, I need 22 of these bastards. It's just easier to hack them into the game. Where are they? There we go, reset stone. So you want to throw one reset stone, and... Our, our supernova sword into the mix. And we want to alchemize that. And that will give us a Stardust Sword back. And obviously now since I've alchemized the Stardust Sword, now it's going to show up in my weapon thing. Right there. I'm actually not sure what these even other two are. Oh, and there's one other thing I did before the start of this episode, but that can wait until next time, because I have a few more things planned for it. So, yeah. But, obviously, um... The Hypernova Sword, which is actually the Tier 4, if you notice, it's not in here. Because, basically, it's the exact... The reason the, the Tier 4 weapons do not appear in the Economicon is because they are the exact same recipes as the Tier 3. So, since I already have the Tier 3, uh, it doesn't need... When I, when I forge the Hypernova Sword, which I will eventually get, um, it doesn't need to be in here because, well, it's the same damn recipe. So yeah, and basically you have to do that 20 times with everything in order to get them all. So the one for the spear is actually the stud poker. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just forge all the tier 2s now and worry about the tier 3 and 4s later. Um, and I'm probably going to skip through most of that, mainly because Crackpot sits there and talks forever about your chances, and then you have to wait to save the game, and it's all this hullabaloo, so it's just easier to... For and plus, you'd have to... If, if I do them individually, I'd have to go back between the recipe book and try my luck and listen to Crackpot talk more and everything. But... If you want to know the recipes, obviously just pause as I'm doing this. I already know which orbs I need in my chances for actually the tier 3 and 4 weapons, which I have to manipulate, and I'm going to need more E-Rocks for this. But yes, um, but anyway, obviously, I know I said this earlier, but all the, the, the weapons, which are the, uh, the S-Rank chests and the grottos. Oh, actually, no, uh, nope, yeah, it, it is just a start of store in the Gingram whip that I ended up getting the other... The other nine, I save it into the game. I could get them legitly, but it would just take too dang long, and it's more, you know, just basically showing you guys what to do. You guys don't need to see me farm for hours and end on something just to show an example. I've told you how to get it. If you really want to go get it yourself. <laughs> but yeah, that's the ginger and whip I picked up, and then you want. Since the stick, as you can see, I'm running out of rocks faster than I'm running out of orbs. I probably overdid it on the orbs, but I just didn't want to count exactly how many I needed, because that was just going to be a waste of my time. But yeah, but, but uh, while I'm doing this, like I've heard some criticism like earlier in the LP about why didn't you do alchemy sooner? If you're going to hack stuff into the game, why didn't you hack the good stuff into the game and whatnot? And even though I've explained this over and over, the point of hacking into the game wasn't to make myself the coolest character. It was only done as necessary. Pretty much everything I did in the beginning of the game, um, up until I started the post-game content, was all legit stuff. Like, I didn't do any save editing early on. It was only after. And I only completed one quest, and I think I only did one alchemy thing just to get the crackpot started. And it wasn't until the post-game content, which is a pain in the... This game is a pain in the ass to 100%. It takes a very, very long time. And I wouldn't recommend it unless you're just really one of those completionist people and just really need something to do, like on your break at work or while you're on a train commuting somewhere or something, and you just need something menial to do. 
that you can just stop at any time. But basically, like, the only things I've done for, obviously, I did artificially inflate, um, my other classes to level 40, um, simply for the quests. And obviously, I had to take those skill points and distribute them to get the, uh, like, the level 100 skill level for the weapons thing, but I didn't, I didn't hack any, like, extra skill points for, in the game based on, um, levels I didn't have. It was, it was just the ones I hacked in, and, and, and I'm sure you, as you saw, I've got like leftover skill points that I have no idea what to do with because everything I've done was for the sake of example and not anything else. And obviously certain items. Um, and grotto maps, yes, I fully admit to obviously hacking those into the game, but it's more to show example rather than, oh, look how cool I am, I can hack stuff into the game. It's not for that reason. If I'm going to show you guys this stuff, I have to make sure I can... I mean, this LP has already gone on. <laughs> like a year and a half. <laughs> um, as much as it, you know, is bittersweet to, you know, end an LP, like it always is, but it's about time it's completed, and you guys don't want to wait for around forever for me to complete this. And I don't either. Now, I've done the weapons, and I just realized just now... Uh, some of the tier 1 equipment I actually have on, so I need to take it off. Like, for example, uh, I have the invincible trousers on. I need to unequip those. Uh, the hallowed helm is part of it. As is the victorious armor, although I did farm a victorious armor from a chest, knowing it was part of this, not re and not realizing... Oh, I didn't mean to do hit that button. Uh, I already had one. <laughs> but that's alright. And we have the Vesta Gauntlets I need to take off. And I think the last one is... Oh, I gotta take the Tantric Trousers off too. And the Brain Drainer. And obviously I didn't take the Sardis Sword off because I described like an episode or two ago. That I, uh, one of them I intentionally farmed and I got two others completely by accident. <laughs> But anyway, now that I've taken the weapons off... Nope, armor! Now obviously my shield is a brain drainer, which turns into... Uh, what does that one turn into? That one is this one right here. The stinky part is, because some of these are all torso equipments, they don't appear at the, the very last page of the recipe. I love how all of them like, have like the same palette too. It's like laziness. And we need to sort it by name because it's the blessed helm I need. I remember some of the names of the tier of the tier two equipment. Yeah, as, as for the weapons, the only one, if if you're really being stingy, the only ones you really would um, I would re seriously recommend forging for those who just want to be stingy and only forge what they need. Um, start a sword and uh, critical fan. I would recommend. And if you can get multiples for your characters, that is all the more better. But not necessarily necessary. Alright. There's several pieces of torso. One of which is the Archangel's robe. Actually, there's, th there's three different... Um, oh, excuse me. Burp there. Uh, torso equipment for these. Oh... Uh, Gonna put these in order because one of them starts with an S. This right here. Now I have to think of what the victorious armor alchemizes into. I've been staring at names for three days straight, guys, trying to set this up, so all my memory is a blur. Like, I'm not even finished f forging the tier two, and I'm already nearly 20 minutes into the episode. Um, I will know the name when I see it, I think. No, nah, it's not that. That's one of the things that requires an E-Rock. It's Glory Slime right here. There we go. You'll probably hear me smacking the A button in the background. That's what I'm going to be doing when I forge the tier 3 and 4. It is pain in the butt because I have to listen to Crack... Like I said, Crackpot talks forever. Excuse me while I take a quick drink here. 
Alright, that's it for the torso. The, these are the gauntlets. Throw that crap in there, crackpot. Spit me out something good. He's so happy. She, she, it, whatever. I don't care. And... And we want the immortal trousers. Let's throw more crap in there. Hope you're happy with all these E-Rocks you're eating. I'd like to see how many I have left after this. I don't even have, like, I, I once I finish this, um, obviously I seriously have to uh, hack more into the game. And what is... There's two different pairs of shoes. Oh, actually, you know what? There's two different pairs of gloves, too. I need to go back. But I'll finish the shoes first. So that's one of which. Those were from the Sensible Sandals. And there's one from the... Well, not Sensible Sandals, but... Yeah, the Sensible Sandals. I'm sorry. I'm getting all confused in here. No, wait, no, not that one. I saw three ingredients and I jumped the gun. And I don't remember... Right here. <laughs> that one right there. Of course, it's the first one on the list, and I don't even think of that. I don't remember the shoes looking like that, but that's okay. Um, another one is... I think it's the Tantric Trousers? Nope. Yeah, like I said, I only had so much room on my page, so I didn't write all of this down. Well, I wrote some of the stuff down, but... Yeah, I already made the Immortal Trousers, so where's the other one I need to make? Oh, no, it was the gloves. I'm sorry. See, like I said, only so much information I can have in my brain. There we go, right there. At once, and... I had to spend, like, time, like, making, you know, like, like performing a speech in my head for exactly how I was going to explain this. And I'm like, what the hell am I doing it for? Because I know I'm going to screw this up anyway. Like I always do. Alright, I believe that is all 22. As the game lags. Now, I'm going to go into my battle records. And you're going to see a couple of these. Um come up. Uh, legacy boss maps actually do count as grottos for the accolade. So because of the fact I've done, obviously, so many trying to grind up for um, the final four maps, especially two particular ones, which obviously require at least 32 fights to get to a piece. But the other thing I did, and I probably should have uh, explained this to you in the episode, obviously we completed the quest. You can tell how long it's been since I've uh, actually gone into the battle records because obviously I'm just now getting the accolade for 100% quest completion. And obviously for doing alchemy a couple times, I get that. What is that 94% number? Oh, that's the item list. Oh, I have 94, 97% on the item list? Wow. Now, uh, I should have mentioned this at the beginning of the episode, but I didn't realize that until a few minutes in. I actually completed the bestiary. Now, um, there was only five monsters I was missing. Uh, four of which I te only four of which I technically should have been missing. Three of them were actually monsters hanging around the Lonely Plains, like right outside of Zero Rocks. That apparently, when I went through there that area during the initial story, I just never actually fought really any monsters out there. So there was three of them there that I never actually defeated. The other two were um, in a high-level volcano grotto. One of them is a green dragon palace swap, and the other one was a vermilion lion, which I did end up uh, getting on screen and fighting, but because um, I had to cut and get out of there, um, and the battle was going horribly. Since I made a save state previously before that, I actually didn't, or I ran away or something, I didn't end up actually defeating him, so it didn't get on the bestiary. Basically, because of the fact I had um, all high-level rank grottos, I did end up getting um, 
and throughout the except for those few monsters in the, in the Lonely Plains, did end up killing every monster in the overworld, and the remaining are in grottos. And if assuming you have um, an S rank grotto of every type and defeat every monster in there, you'll probably you probably should complete your defeated monster list. Um, obviously, you know, to do that though, you also have to defeat all the legacy bosses and all the grotto bosses on top of that as well. So. So yeah, I think that's all the accolades I need now. And I did not anticipate this episode actually being this long. Now I'm going to obviously have to keep myself slightly undressed here. Because I need that equipment to reforge it. Now, so I'm going to save my game and I'm going to end the episode here. Now, there's a couple, actually, uh, even though this LP is not going to go on much longer, there are a couple pieces of uh, Tier 4 equipment I do want, but obviously I need to, because I can't save scum that. Um, I obviously have to, like I said at the beginning of the episode, manipulate the random number generator to actually end up forging those. Um, I will obviously I will show at least one of those on screen. But would you, uh, I don't know if you guys are interested in actually f seeing me forge the rest of the tier 3 and tier 4 e uh, equipment that I don't plan on using. I'm going to let that uh, s uh, up to you decide. Obviously if I do it, it's going to be heavily fast forwarded because it's, it's just a pain in the butt to get. But like I said, the tier 4 and, th and 3 and 4 weapons, the recipe is basically the same thing you just need to do the tier 2, but you need 3 E-Rocks and 3 of the same orb. And that's it. That's the, that's the same thing for all of them is how you make them and get them in your Alkanomicon and everything like that. And Tier 3, use a reset stone to get back to Tier 1, and hooray, you've got all the recipes for that individual stuff. So yeah, yeah, it took me uh, 25 minutes to go through all that, and I didn't even finish. <laughs> and I had everything already. Yeah, I'm telling you, these are not easy things to make. So only a few of them are really actually truly worth it. Um, like, most of the armors are worth it, but like I said, I only think the... Uh, the critical fan of the start of sword final ones are actually worth your time in the end. But that's right, but uh, my voice is very, very tired from talking the entire way. Oh my goodness. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I shall see you next time while we'll do other stuff. There's a few very minor things I have planned. So, see you guys.